in the 300 meter time trial but crashing out in the 500 meter sprint young 19 year old Heine Pajero he'll be hoping for better fortune than in the 500 meter sprint that's for sure so we will be getting underway momentarily Thirteen skaters lining up. We have a registered field of twenty. So here we go. The women's ten thousand meter point elimination final gets underway. So the group will look to just settle themselves, sort themselves out. Fabriana Arias leading the way. And the one place you don't want to be is at the back because you will be eliminated at the moment. There's no great danger because we haven't reached the first elimination point just yet. But the two poles already, Gars and Gak, are lurking back there. And I think that's Gak that's decided that's not where I want to be, so she's made a little move. Sondre Tash just making a little adjustment there to one of the wheels. Again, it's not one of those races where the time is really irrelevant. It's all about making sure you don't get eliminated and making sure you pick up points. But generally speaking, the women's 10,000 metres goes at around 15. 15, 15, 20 pace. And here's Sonia Gak deciding, you know what, I'm going to have my moment of glory. I'm going to lead the way around. And the Polish crowd really appreciating the Polish skater deciding to take it on through 600 metres here. But it'll only get really interesting when you hear that first bell. So it's all cagey and tactical. The two Colombians. Lined up just behind her, Pajaro and Arias. And there's the Chilean skater, Translavina Lopez, is involved as well. There's no oh, great panic about being at the back at the moment, but you're down the wrong end of things. You just need to be aware of your circumstances and the situation. Much better to be where Sonia Gak is than to be where Alexandra Goss is. All the skaters making sure as well as they reach the first 1,000 metres that they don't catch each other's skates. Accidents do happen, especially when there are a lot of skaters on the track. We've certainly seen some spectacular crashes, particularly in the women's event. In the 500 metre sprint, a lot of favourites fell foul of accidents there. The two Italians tucked in just behind the Chilean in fifth and sixth. That's uh, Bonecchi and Lola Brigida. And we've seen the Italians working as a team before, and there's the first bell. So this is where the heat is on, and that's where the tempo really picks up. And there's an attack from the outside from uh, one of the Polish skaters. That is just uh, going around there, Alexandra Goss. Now this is going to be a huge cheer for Goss who just paced her attack and Arias picking up a point for second place so that's great news for Polish skating and now here we go again uh, can Alexandra Goss maintain her position at the top of the pile here in this 10,000 meter event really going for it again now the Chilean is making a bit of a move there as well and I think the two South Americans just ran Goss out of that one 
Certainly Arias was in there. She picked up two. And Translavina Lopez, indeed, coming second there. Those two just pouncing as Goss felt the heat. Uh, we haven't yet started having the eliminations, but they will come. And now the pressure's on once again, and it's, uh, it's some of the Italians trying to make their move here. Well, is that Bonecchi? The gold medalist in the 500 metre sprint. Is she looking to make her attack make a mark? You don't want to let Arias have too many early points. It was Julia Lolo Brigida, in fact, picking up the two points there with Yang of Chinese Taipei also now getting on the board. So one or two of the others need to start making a move. Sandrine Tass here in the light blue of Belgium has decided, yep, yeah, okay, I've given away enough points here. Time to add some points of my own. Uh, really fascinating the tactics here. Three of them have uh, made a move. And the points collected. Tass is on the board. And Yang picks up another two points to take a share of the lead. So Chinese Taipei and Colombia in front. Italy and Poland sharing third place. But Alexandra Goss, I think, is already starting to really feel the heat as this has picked up significantly. And it's Yang and Tass looking to try and lead the way. One of the Spanish skaters is trying to make some ground as well, Mate and Sin. the bell once again and it's one of the two Colombian skaters that's jumped in front as the field starts to separate Translavina Lopez of Colombia in second place and uh, making a move here Marika Toom trying to get involved he's got some work to do that Yang and Arias have opened up a lot of daylight. Now there's some pushing and shoving as the field punches. Well, here we go again. And it's Maita Ancine of Spain trying to lead the way here. Arias tucked in just behind her. They're in the number 27 bib. Arias silver medalist now who picked up the points there silver medalist in the world championships last year Arias cleverly picking up a couple of points there as well so Arias with a big big gap now between first and third and that's a bit of a log jam at the moment now one of the Polish skaters has popped up again there'll be a huge cheer if she can hold on here, but I don't think she can. She's been run out of it already by Sandrine Tass, who's hit the front, trying to pick up this bonus. Now she does that. Yang of uh, Chinese Taipei picking up another valuable point. So Yang certainly looking good behind Arias at the moment. Tass making a move, looking to add another medal to the 300-meter time trial that she's already picked up. They go again. And here it is. Some more points up for grabs as some of the eliminated riders can start planning for their next event. So Arias and Yang with Tass tucked in just behind them as we get close to halfway. really is a two horse race at the moment but still an awful lot of points to be picked up as we are now down to our final 10 now that should be the end of the elimination so these 10 will just be out there now trying to pick up some points
And Yang continuing to look really good. That's a lot of daylight that the top two have put between themselves and the rest of the field. And still no real attack coming from anywhere else either, which is a bit of a surprise. Let's see if somebody is saving themselves for a late charge. But meanwhile, Yang and Arias will just so up. Uh, if you're going to leave us to share the points, that's exactly what we'll do. So two skaters in double figures, and that'll do it as far as Julia Bonecki is concerned. So the gold medalist from the 500 meter sprint will not be picking up any more hardware here. Once again, Chinese, Taipei, and Colombia leading the way there's an attack from and seen I think or is that to Marika Toom well we wonder where Toom has been hiding and now she pops up the German she'll be looking to make a late burst she's been just biding her time Marika Toom and this has really opened the field wide up because three of them have just made a move Toom being one of them and she's taken Arias, I think that is, with her. It is indeed Arias. Now the Chinese Taipei ski skeeter and Sandrine Tass is trying to close that gap as well because Tass and Toom look like they could be contesting the bronze medal right here at the moment. So Tass needs to get in and pick up some quick points. Toom has really made a big move. At about two-thirds of the way through this 10,000 meter event. Now Tass just sitting in in the light blue. But uh, Toom going around. Lee is in that group as well. So Yang has been dropped. So Lee will be looking to see if she can close the gap a little bit. These four look like they may have the rest of the points to themselves. And it all opened up when Marika Toom, the German, just decided I'm making my move. This is my time. Now, this is the breakaway group. And the others, I think, have just settled for what they've got, which in the case of most of them is not a lot. So Toom being attacked by Tass on the outside. Arias, who is looking in really good shape at the moment, three-point lead, and Yang has been dropped. So Toom picking up a couple more points, and now Sandrine Tass has decided, time to make my move. And Lee also has got to attack from the back there of that little group. She seems happy just to stick at the back of that little quartet, but only the top two will pick up points. So Arias will be hoping that uh, she's done enough. Surely she has. She makes a move here. Toom tracking her all the way Tass has got to try and get past Toom in this battle for the the minor honours those two are both locked on six points both trying to chase down Yang who's currently the silver medal but doesn't seem able to add to those ten points Arias in the meantime comfortable big big gap now Arias certain of the gold you would think it's the battle for bronze at the moment that's getting interesting and can Toom and Tass both catch and overhaul Yang who is currently in second but unable to add to that tally and the other Chinese Taipei skater Li has just sat there in this quartet but making no kind of move at all she's been at the back of this group as Tass decides right let's try and add to my bounty Tass and Toom continuing to just make their moves and now we get down to serious business. Nine laps remaining. So they're running out of time, Toom and Tass. They try and catch Yang. Skaters that are level on points, it will be settled on time. So at the moment, Tass and Toom, if they can both just add two more points, that'll run Yang out of things. And they're going to pick up points here by the look of it, with Toom looking to make... The attack, bursting off here. Well, Arias knows she's got this in the bank, but that doesn't stop her having a go here. And now Lee has decided 
to get involved as well. So a real burst of pace there from Fabriano Arias. Silver medal in the World Championship. Gold medal here, almost certainly. In fact, she's pretty much unstoppable right now. So Toom has drawn level with Tang Yang, so she'll move ahead of her. It's Tass that needs to find another point from somewhere, the Belgian. And here she comes looking for it right here. Well, it's fragmented. They've broken up all over the place. And it's basically four skaters for three medals. Toom has dropped off. So Tass, if she can hold second place there. As she joins the other two on ten points. Nine kilometers, one more kilometer to go. And now Tass in the light blue, just tucking in behind Arias, who knows she has it won. Can Lee do her compatriot a favor and knock Sandrine Tass out of the top two spots? And the answer there is no, she cannot. Uh, Sandrine Tass continuing a very impressive World Games. Both these top two already medalled. And they're going to medal again. Arias certain of gold. Tass now seemingly certain of silver. And Toom, if she finishes ahead of Yang, will take a bronze. And that'll be some consolation for finishing fourth for the German in the World Championship last year. Lee still tucked in with them there. But she hasn't really been a factor at all. So, there's very little chance here for Tass. In fact, it's almost, well, it is all over, really, effectively. This race was all over quite a while ago. Arias making it a procession and finishing in some style as well as she comes to the bell. What a skate this has been. And this is consolation for a silver medal that she earned in the 500-meter sprint when she was run out of it by Giulia Bonecchi the surprise winner of Italy well that was silver in the 500 meter sprint but it's gold here in the 10,000 meter points elimination race Sandrine Tass a pretty good silver as well to add to the bronze she picked up in the 300 meter time trial there is a crash right at the end and Toom and Yang will be separated on time and Toom it is who will take that third place but no doubt at all about the gold and it's gone to Fabriana Arias well we thought she would be the one to beat after that second place behind Mayra Arias of Argentina a year ago Tass and Toom fourth and fifth in that race second and third here so of the top five in the World Championship, two did not race here. The remaining three have taken one, two, and three. So for once, the form book has proved to be reliable. Lee of Chinese Taipei will take fourth, a very distant fourth. Then Lola Brigida, Translavina Lopez, and Alexandra Goss. Might they and seen picked up just the one point Juliet Pudiba was the tenth finisher all the others including Tony Pajaro were eliminated Julia Bonecki we also saw her depart the gold medalist in the 500 and Yi Siul she disappeared early as well well she didn't start in fact that's why she, well, she was one of a slew of non-starters Leticia Shimek didn't start as well Erin Jackson wasn't there but the skaters that were there certainly made their mark. And it's a gold for Colombia. They've not had the best of times in the speed skating at the World Games. One of the real powerhouses of world speed skating. But uh, the gold medals have been few and far between. This one from Fabriana Arias, long overdue. Well, as always, it was tactical. Sandrine Tass bided her time, as did Marika Toom. 
They let some of the early points go to the likes of Goss and Lola Brigida, Translavina Lopez. And then it was really when Toom made her attack that that opened up the group of four. And then Toom dropped off the pace. Left three of them. And Fabriana Arias just collecting point after point after point. Sandrine Tass following her. Only had two 